um, day 26 today and um, today I wanted to talk about something that I'm challenged by my coach Susie Ashworth um, she challenged us to come out and, and talk about how great we are and of course it's you know it's it's the intent behind this assignment is to sort of propel us into becoming more visible and I feel that I have already made myself quite visible and constantly challenge myself to you know be on the video and to post regular posts and create my courses and I'm working with clients one-on-one -on -one. Um, and yet when she challenged us to come out and say I'm great I'm the no it wasn't I'm the greatest I'm fucking great I went into a stress cycle when I imagined that I would do that because it's just such a it's still so ingrained in me that calling myself great is just not um, it's not what good girls well-raised girls modest girls do and it's funny because you know I've spent almost 10 years now deconditioning myself from all this stuff that is so limiting and so untrue in the grand scheme of things because we're all wonderful and all miraculous and you know having had three children I'm so aware of how precious life is and what a miracle it is and how incredible it is that everything is functioning in our body and it's breathing and the heart is beating and, and life unfolds the way it does etc etc so I'm very aware on a conscious level how great we all are and how incredible this experience of, of living of being human is and yet to just come out and say I'm fucking great is still such an edge for me but the more I thought about it, and it somehow coincides with a lot of what I've been thinking about lately, because I'm focusing so much on my ability to receive, to actually welcome all the goodness in my life into my body, into my experience, so that it nourishes me, so that it enriches my experience. Um, I realize that so much love beauty is already available as i think most of us can attest to every time we go in nature you go to the beach you go into forest you go to the mountains the beauty the indescribable beauty and magnificence of nature always brings us to that you know ability to receive and just like revel in it but i also can say that i've lived many years in extremely beautiful surroundings nature wise and i haven't been able to actually feel them in my body they didn't penetrate me because i was so protected and so boarded up and so um you know, so closed off to, to all that beauty and all that wonder. And I'm realizing, especially lately, that to receive anything, we need to feel deserving. We need to feel deserving. And what I find myself spending most of my time, or at least for most of my life until very recently, is that I didn't feel deserving. I spent so much time nitpicking the things that I did wrong, the things that I could have done differently, all the way, all the mistakes that I've made. Um, and working with other people now, I also know that I'm not the only one who 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 feels that or who lives like that. We're so quick to focus on what we perceive as a mistake. We're so quick to, you know, just like relish in the, in that picking apart our faults and mistakes. And so infrequently are we there to actually pat ourselves on the back and say, oh my God, look how far you've come. You did it, you know, things like that. Um, and so, so much of my work actually is teaching people to 
surrender into receiving, to stop going and doing and forcing and fixing and pushing and to slow down enough to actually just receive the pleasure and beauty and goodness and abundance that is already there. So all this to come back to the importance of talking about the fact that I'm great. And if that means I give you permission to, to spend some time today and connect to that sense of you feeling great and being great and being a miracle of nature. And I think this is how we pass it along. You know, my coach, the woman I admire, said she was great, she is great. And when she said it, I knew it about her. Um, and I admire her so much. And so it gave me permission to come out here and talk about how great I am. And in hopes that you can connect to the fact that you are also great. And it's so, so important for all of us to connect to that, that sense of deserving, that sense of inner worth, and also that we don't have to be perfect in order to connect to that feeling, in order to understand that we are great. Each one of us is great. We don't have to do anything to, to be great, that we already are great just by sheer force of the fact that we're here. We're part of this miraculous life and this universe. And it's not trying to do anything for it. It's not about achieving or doing something to be deserving of love and respect and abundance and nourishment. And the more I go into this concept and this conversation, the more I realize how so much of my suffering in my life until recently was me punishing myself, me denying myself nurturance in whatever way, whether physical or spiritual, me cutting myself off from love that was already available, me afraid to ask help or asking for help and then hating myself for needing help. Whereas I'm just a human being and life has tested me in ways that, you know, where I needed to ask for help. And I today I'm convinced that that is part of, you know, my development and part of what my soul signed up for in this life. And there was a moment just recently in the last several weeks that I needed to ask for help from someone. And the way it felt asking for help and the way it felt after I've asked for help, the way I destroyed myself in judgment, it was incredibly painful, but then it also led me to this kind of understanding that I deserve to ask for help no matter what I've done, no matter how I've struggled, no matter what mistakes I've made, I still deserve to ask for help and to receive it. And, um, you know, really it's sort of going into that, the first judge, the first destruction, the first rejection that's happening, the first layer is happening within. So to learn to feel into the fact that I'm great and deserving of love, respect, and help and nourishment, no matter what, we each deserve to be seen and to be respected and to be loved for exactly who we are, no matter how imperfect we are or we've been. And it's not the perfection which is unattainable anyway because it keeps on sh shifting. It's not the perfection that gets us worthy or deserving. But it's that acceptance of myself the way I already am, who I already am. It's that piece of safe to be me 
I'm safe to be me in all of my full range of human of humanity, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I still deserve to, you know, love and attention and, and nourishment. And I'm still great. No matter how many times I think I've failed. It's not the achievement, it's actually that whole experience of and like picking ourselves up by the bootstraps and and going on and not giving up on this life, continuing forward, continuing learning, continuing feeling deserving of this life. It's really, really big. So I'm fucking great. And I, and I invite you to, to feel into it for yourself and notice what there is, if there is any resistance and kind of sit with it and allow yourself that even if there is judgment within, you still deserve to be seen and understood and loved and nourished because you're great. All right, everyone, see you tomorrow.